And when you talk about gold, it's happening today. The U.S. women's soccer team, they'll take on Sweden in the quarterfinals, looking to work their way up to a gold medal game. But as it turns out, you're going to have your own opportunity to watch some world-class soccer right here at home in West Michigan today. The U-17 women's national team will be in Holland, taking on none other than Olympic host country Brazil. 24-Hour News Aids' Tom Hillen is live in Holland this morning with the journey of young women looking to become Olympians. Tom? Well, good thing they're not going to be playing this morning, Casey, because it's a little rainy out here in Holland. But later tonight, they will be playing here at Van Andel Soccer Stadium here on Hope College's campus. Now, these girls, young women rather, are the best of the best in the country that have Olympic hopes and dreams of their own. I'm on the U-17 women's national team. Alexis Spanstra is just 16 years old. Hailing from Brighton, Spanstra is one of just 28 young women from around the country on the team. Since this is a World Cup year, like cycle, we travel a lot more than some other teams, so it usually happens once a month, and they can be from domestic camps in California, or they can be international, which our last trip was in Italy. The team is making a rare swing through Michigan, playing one game against Brazil already this week in East Lansing, where around 3,500 people were there to cheer them on. Just like seeing the crowd and like they were all cheering for you, and it felt really good. Leading the team is BJ Snow, a Portage native who was a coach at UCLA before being called on to coach Team USA. When we have these opportunities to play the likes of a Brazil who at the senior women's level is competing for a gold medal in their home country, um, the more exposure that our young women get to playing against international competition, the better off they'll be. And watching from the stands, Lindsay Tarpley, the coach's wife. Oh, and she also happens to be a two-time Olympic champion, winning gold when she played on the U.S. women's soccer team in Athens in 2004 and again in 2008 in Beijing. I started where they started, where, where some of them started. So when I was 13, I got called into my first U14 camp, and I went every step along the way to reaching the senior women's team. Ultimately, only 21 of the current 28 players will make the final cut to play in the World Cup this year, a hard choice for the head coach. A lot of players on our team that have uh, uh, extraordinary abilities, and uh, you never know. Um, to be able to look into the future who is going to have that success, but I can guarantee you there'll be some of them that will put on that uniform. Love it. Love the touch. Yeah, you may have the opportunity to watch some future Olympians here tonight. Now, the game will start around 7 o'clock tonight here at Hope College in Holland. The game is free. They are encouraging you to come out, show up early, because you heard thousands of people came to their game in Lansing, so come out, have some fun, and hopefully... It's not doing what it's doing right now. Reporting live in Holland, Tom Hillen, 24-hour news aid.